No, in all these things we have a complete victory through him who loved us. The Epistle to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 37. We go to Christ for forgiveness and then too often look to the law for power to fight our sins. Paul rebuked us. O you foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? This thing I would learn of you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of law or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish, having begun in the Spirit and now you are made perfect by the flesh? Take your sins to Christ's cross, for the old man can only be crucified there. We are crucified with him. The only weapon to fight sin is with the spear which pierced pierced the side of Jesus. To give an illustration, let's say you want to overcome an angry temper. How do you go to work? It is very possible you have never tried the right way of going to Jesus with it. How did I get salvation? I came to Jesus just as I was, and I trusted him to save me. I must kill my angry temper in the same way. It is the only way that I can ever kill it. I must go to the cross with it and say to Jesus, Lord, I trust in you that you will deliver me from this evil temper. This is the only way to give it a death blow. Are you covetous? Do you feel the world entangling you? You may struggle against this evil so long as you please. But if it be your besetting sin, you will never be delivered from it in any way, but by the blood of Jesus. Take it to Christ. Tell him, Lord, I have trusted you and your name is Jesus, for you saved your people from their sins. Lord, this is one of my sins. Save me from it. Ordinances are nothing without Christ as a means of mortification. Your prayers, your repentances and your tears, the whole of them put together are worth nothing apart from him. None but Jesus can do helpless sinners any good, nor helpless saints either. You must be conquerors through him who loved you, if conquerors at all. Our laurels must grow amongst his olives in Gethsemane. Amen.